Hey everybody, uh, I didn't finish that thought from last part. Uh, welcome back. What is bureaucrat? Um, we're gonna do with more silver. Um, anyway, I was watching Slavoj Žižek forever ago, and he was talking about how at times modern parenting is almost more pernicious than old-fashioned parenting. Because where kind of like old-fashioned parenting was sort of this force to be reckoned with parenting, where it was like, shit sucks but fucking cope, because that's the way it is. Modern parenting is something like, it's something along the lines of like, and not every parent, right? Hashtag not every parent, but like, there's like a certain breed where it's like, instead of it being like, hey, this is a force to be reckoned with, you fucking cope, and like, you know, like, get on, right? Instead, a lot of like, a lot of modern platitudes are something along the lines of, you need to be obsequious and positive in your heart, you know, when, when things are like, annoying and bad. Right. Whereas, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's so much more, in other words, like, there's so much more of a push to have, like, a positive attitude these days for, like, bullshit, you know? And it sucks because it's, like, we absolutely should, you know, like, figure out ways to uplift ourselves, to still kind of stand on our own two feet, to still kind of move on, um, and to, like, you know, like, you know, do what we can to contribute to the world and be good to each other and stuff. But, like, you know, um, sometimes there are mental health days, <laughs> right? Like, and, and this is the thing, this is the thing, right? Like, I feel like if you think about it, you know, that, you know, what they say, there's never, there's never a new idea under the sun. You know, this whole notion of, like, mental health days, you know, like, what is that? Other than basically being like, hey, I'm going to truck through. But I'm not going to be, like, you know, like, superlatively, you know, like, positive. Because, um, you know, I am an element of reality, too. And I am not always happy. You know, like, and it's funny because, like, um, that's just, like, the, the nouveau way of saying, like, today's a shit day, but I'm an adult and I got shit to do. You know, like, good lord. Um... And, you know, and again, like, you know, people spend a lot of time getting mad about things that are out of their control. Definitely shouldn't make a habit of doing that. Definitely should always try to be as resourceful and in your own recourse and resources as much as possible, right? Should definitely not make a habit of being upset out of things that are out of your control. And most of the time, what really tends to really great people and really make them have mental breakdowns is things that are out of their control. Um, and, uh, it's pretty rough, you know. On the flip side, if a black hole opens up in your room, and, and you don't tell anyone that there's a black hole in your room, it's like, oops. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. Let's see, treasures. Okay, let's do, how many, what fucking round am I on? I don't know, let's get, let's get a gold. All right. You know what sucks about seltzers going flat? And I will say this, okay? This is the one thing about, like, seltzers going flat that is just, like, awful. So the one thing that seltzers have going against them straight up... I don't know how they do this. Um, seltzer drinks, I think, are wonderful and delicious. And on top of that, they're really cool if you spill them. Because they're just fucking water. Like, you know, like, what's one of the bad things about, like, spilling, like, milk and orange juice and all that stuff, right? Is it's this kind of, like, you know, sticky, lactic, you know, sugary liquid that gets into carpet and shit. And, uh, you know, obviously don't make it the habit of spilling anything, but, like, you know, if you spill a seltzer, it's like, oh my god, it's just fucking water, you know? Um, so, I cut my, I cut my middle finger the other day, um... Uh, it was so bizarre. I, I don't know how I do this. Does anyone have a particular, like, style or habit or fashion in which they, like, always hurt themselves, like, on accident? Like, you're the kind of friend who always gets bruises or whatever. I'm the kind of person who always gives himself, like, really localized but really deep cuts on accident. Like, every single time without fail. It's like, I will, like prick myself or slice myself or kind of just dig dig into myself on accident on accident um but with like um this is a rough this is a rough game 